Welcome to Levant TV Headlines. Iran said the Syrian opposition chief Ahmed al-Jarba was the most inappropriate person to lead the war-torn country, and Iran confirmed it would send observers to next month's presidential election. Al-Qaeda Syria branch claimed responsibility for two car bomb attacks a day earlier in the central city of Homs. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called on Lebanon's political rivals to end the country's presidential stalemate. Egyptians vote for a new president in an election expected to sweep to power the ex-army chief who threw the Islamist regime of Mohamed Morsi. In Libya, Premier Ahmed Metik's proposed cabinet won a vote of confidence in the embattled interim parliament. A newspaper editor and critic of Libya's jihadists was gunned down in the eastern city of Benghazi. EU foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton and Iran's foreign minister Mohammad Javad Zarif meet in Istanbul to review progress on negotiations towards a nuclear deal. U.S. official source said Afghanistan President Hamid Karzai declined a meeting with U.S. President Barack Obama at Bagram airspace outside Kabul. And an anti-EU mood swept Britain on Monday as UK leader Nigel Farage hailed the results of the most extraordinary results in British politics for 100 years. The UKIP scored over 29% of the EU vote. And to read more, please visit levant.tv. That was it for today. Thanks for watching.